Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you a prophetic dream that I had about two weeks ago. I am discerning that this dream is not only for me, but it is for a lot of people as well. And I also know this because I've gotten confirmation after confirmation after confirmation of people telling me, hey, this is actually happening in my household. Your dream is coming to pass. And I've already very quickly seen this dream come to pass in my household as well. So I really want to share this dream with you guys. Please make sure that you pray into it uh, just to see if this is actually for you and if this prophetic shift is for your household as well. I believe that this is going to be going to be a very fast acting interpretation, a very fast acting word. So if you discern that this is for you, just make sure you pray, you contend for this, and you just really thank God for what he's about to do in your life and in your family's life, your household's life. I've already shared this dream on my TikTok and I've already seen so many people just confirm that this word is for them. And I've already shared this dream on my Instagram, but just in my story. So I wanted to come on YouTube to share it, to really get it out to more people because I know for sure that this is going to happen very quickly. And I just wanna make sure that I'm being obedient to share the prophetic word. My best friend Amanda already shared a 2023 prophetic word um, for this year. And I am already seeing that come to pass as well. So I will link her video down below in the description box a lot of the time god will show us very similar things in different ways um so i really feel like that's a really great video for you to watch as well so that you can see what god is doing this year in 2023 like i said my dream and the dream interpretation i believe is going to be very fast acting so please watch the full video let's get into it so in my dream i was asked by somebody to play main keys at a mega church and i agreed mind you it doesn't make any sense that i would agree because i'm not a piano player when i was in grade seven i took piano lessons for a very short period of time so i only have very basic knowledge of piano i know some notes and that's really about it um i am not skilled enough to be playing at any church much less a mega church where they be doing these whole productions but anyway in the dream i agreed so i went to the church and service started and i was sitting on main keys and that's when all of this fear set in all of this imposter syndrome set in i was just like what am i doing up here i don't belong here i don't know how to play keys i should not be playing this right now but because the first song had already started rolling I was like, okay, I'm just gonna hit any chord that comes to mind. And when I hit that chord, it actually ended up working with the song and it worked out beautifully. But because I was so scared to hit any other notes and I didn't wanna mess up the song, I just held that chord for the remainder of the song. And like I said, it worked with that song, but I didn't play any other notes after that. So when that first song ended, I ended up looking behind me and looking at the band and I saw that my husband was on secondary keys. So if a lot of you guys are familiar with a lot of big churches, they will have a main keys player and then they'll also have a secondary keys player. So when I turned around and I saw that my husband was on secondary keys, I was like, what are you doing? Why are you on secondary keys? You should be on main keys, like we need to switch. And just for some background, my husband is actually a very skilled piano player. He has a business called Gifted Hands Music where he teaches other piano players how to become better piano players. So he's been doing this his whole life and that's why I had that reaction in the dream. I was just like, did you not see me up here? Like, why are you on secondary keys? And I was just completely freaking out. So anyway, we ended up coming up with a plan and I ended up saying, listen, if you give me the notes, I can make it through the rest of the worship set. I just need your help. I need you to give me the play. So he essentially pulled out a piece of paper, wrote down all of the notes for the next upcoming songs on this piece of paper. And that made me feel so good and so confident. And then that part of the dream ended essentially. So I stayed on main keys and he stayed on secondary keys. He gave me the play and then that was it. In another part of the dream, um, somebody had told me that they were painting in the same church. So 
I had been walking around and I ended up getting paint on my feet. I didn't think that there would be paint on the floor. Um, so I ended up getting paint on my feet and I was like, oh shoot, I need to go to the bathroom to wash this paint off my feet. I ended up going to the bathroom and that's when I noticed that the bathroom had a shower. So it had like a regular toilet stalls and stuff and sinks, but then it also had a shower in the corner with like a shower curtain. And I knew that because I saw a really big influential influencer had just stepped out of the shower. They had their towel on and they were just like at the sink, just washing up it seems like. So I was like, oh great, I can just go to the shower and rinse off my feet. And that's what I did. I ended up going over to the shower and rinsing off my feet and that dream ended. So I ended up just like praying, asking God what this dream meant um was thinking about it a lot and then i ended up going to my husband talking to my best friend who is also really prophetic and i got the interpretation once we all talked they gave me the interpretation one part of the dream that i forgot to mention is that when i agreed to play main keys i agreed to do it for a certain sum of money okay so i wanted to make sure i said that before i jumped into the interpretation and also let me give you some backstory as well my husband for the last year and a bit has been the main breadwinner in our home ever since I left my job. So now this leads me into the interpretation of the dream. So what we're going to start to see is a shift happening in the homes. The main breadwinner is going to start to take a little bit more of a back seat. And the person that wasn't bringing a lot of provision into the home, the person that wasn't making a lot of income is going to start to come to the forefront and become the main breadwinner. They're still gonna both be making money, which is gonna bring a lot of increased wealth into the home. And that's why we saw my husband on secondary keys and me on main keys, because there's still provision coming in from both of us, but we're gonna start to see a shift where the person that wasn't making a lot of money is gonna be moved to the forefront and they're gonna start to make a lot of money. We're gonna start to see double incomes and this is gonna bring a lot of increased wealth into the home. What's also going to happen is the person, as they're being moved to the forefront, they might start to feel a lot of fear, a lot of imposter syndrome. They start might start to question themselves like, what am I doing? Like, why am I here? I've never been in this position before. How do I do this? And start to question themselves. But just know that God has placed you there. You are there for a reason. God has orchestrated it in such a way that he is now raising you up and you're going to start to see blessing come from the works of your hands and God is with you. Don't fear. Don't feel like you're an imposter that you shouldn't be there. Just know God has placed you there and it is specifically for increased wealth in the homes. We're going to start to see um, just double incomes and it's going to be so so beautiful so do not fear for the person that is starting to come to the forefront we're also going to see that you're going to be able to rely on what you already know you're going to be able to rely on what's already on the inside of you and i know this because in the dream when the first song played i just hit a random chord and that chord worked with the song so you're going to be able to rely on your previous knowledge in the dream i relied on my grade seven piano lessons knowledge even though it didn't seem like much it was enough to work so just know that there's already things on the inside of you you already have giftings on the inside of you that you can rely on but in order for you to go the whole nine yards in order for you to complete the whole worship set like in my dream you're going to need to rely on your partner partly because your partner has been there before partly because they'll be able to help you emotionally um, be able to help you strategically um, maybe even be able to help you just give you wisdom and what it is that you're supposed to be doing how to navigate this new season make sure that you rely on your partner because when you guys come together and unify you're going to just have a lot more wisdom and just have someone that can rely on you and help direct you and we saw that in my dream when I looked to my husband, I said, hey, like, just help me. And he pulled out a piece of paper and then wrote out the notes. Now for the other part of the dream where I ended up getting paint on my feet and I had to go to the shower to wash off the paint off my feet. And I saw that really big influential influencer come out of the shower and she was just at the sink washing up. This is the interpretation of that dream. 
So essentially, she was already washed up. So we're going to start to see another shift where God is going to shift new people into spaces and he's going to start to shift old people out. Um, he's going to remove his hand off of them and he's going to put his hand on the new people that he is raising up. So the reason why she had just come out of the shower was representing her already being washed up. And that's kind of a more negative way to say it, but I just can't find the right words. But essentially she was washed up, like her time was up, and now it was my time to get my feet wet. I was now stepping into this new era, and that's what that means. The old era is over, and now there's a new era that is now entering. And I'm an influencer, I'm a content creator, and the Lord really used that influencer to represent the professional space that I'm in. We're gonna start to see this prophetic shift all across different industries. So there's going to be a shift where he's going to start to raise up new people and remove his hand off the old people. I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about what God is doing in the year 2023. And like I said, my best friend, she talked about how God is raising up underdogs in this season. So just make sure that you are found faith okay go after whatever it is that God is leading you to do in this season you have to be obedient you have to be faithful you have to do the work and you're going to see in a very short period of time God is gonna start to put his hand on you he's gonna start to bless you if you resonate with this if you know that you've been an underdog if you know you haven't had your time God is saying your time is now go forward do the work god is going to put his hand on you he's going to bless you and i'm just excited about what he's going to do in the households where he's going to going to start to even raise up the underdogs in the household where he's going to start to bless them they're going to start to bring in the income and like i said i'm already seeing this in my home it's just so shocking how quickly things are happening and how much God is moving and I'm just so blown away. So I'm just really excited for what God is doing in this season, guys. I hope this really resonates with you. If it does, please comment below, let me know. I've already gotten so much feedback about people saying like, this is for me. So I'm really excited about just what's happening and I'm excited at the end of the year for people to just report back and let me know like God moved in my life. I'm excited to see what God is going to do even in my own personal life um, by the end of the year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, like I said, comment below if this resonated with you. Like and watch another video. Stick around for a little bit. You know, this is my first prophetic word that I'm sharing. I am a prophetic dreamer, but I'm just trying to make sure that if I am discerning that something is for the public, that I'm even obedient in that where I'm sharing it with the public so that they can be blessed as well and just get to foresee what God is doing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.